Hey guys, this is Kent from Games Den Games. Today we are playing Football Manager 2022 and I'm continuing my Port Vale save because that was really popular on the channel. I basically did one of the challenges and it was pick a team that would immediately be transported into the Premier League with the exact same squad, same wage budget and seeing if you could stay up. And it was unbelievably difficult but you can check that video out on my playlist unbelievably difficult bit of a spoiler we did stay up because i'm now in the second season i thought let's continue it so the plan is to give you a couple of matches each day just a bite-sized chunk and you can follow me through the season and see if we can pull off a miracle and stay up again right i'll show you the tactics we are going to change things a little bit this season i'm going to use the mega tactic rather than using my best tactic because the best tactic is great if you've got really good wingers and good forwards you can actually kill people like seven nil but i'm port vale this time i need to be slightly more defensive i do play every game attacking home or away but this this one lets slightly less goals in overall if you haven't got a good side if you've got a good side best tactic is better that's my feeling if you've got a really good side best tactic if you haven't mega tactic you can win with anyone with this all right enough waffle let's continue i will show you my squad just to prove everything now this is the wage bill i managed to buy it. lorenzo Luca was the only big player that i've signed you can see he's worth a lot more michael how do you call that cushions no, don't buy players with annoying names to pronounce. And Ramirez, how much did I get him for? Ignacio Ramirez, three million. I got Lorenzo Luca for four point one million. Michael cost me five point five. So yeah, you can see. I bought him the season before. He's been really good for me. I bought him for 3.4 million. So that's it. Apart from that, you can see my, once you get down here past Ronnie Edwards, you're, you're down in the four grand a week, three grand a week, two grand a week, one grand a week. And this is a small squad as well. I'm really, really bare bones, Harry. You know what I'm saying? Right, let's crack on. So here's the table. I'm currently 11th. I've played seven and I've got nine points. And my most recent matches, I had a little run of wins. I beat Southampton, beat Everton, and then beat Watford. And then I've just lost 4-0 to West Ham. Up the hammers. <laughs> that was a cr frustrating game. I was in that game as well. Okay, so before that, I lost to Man United 6-0. I mean, I am going to get whooped by a lot of teams, but overall, like Arsenal only beat me 2-1, Leicester 2-0. It's going to happen. It's, every game we win will be a bit of a miracle. Right, let's crack on. Enough chat. Where are we? What's this? Yeah. People telling me they're going to leave. Well... That's all right. Okay, I've signed a new head of youth development. I always try and upgrade my staff. Actually, let's have a look at my training. I'm still on tactical. I think I might go. I think I should be defending. <laughs> Let's see, I never ever pick defending as what I should pick, but that might be good for me. Transfer deadline day. Do we take part? No, no point. I've got no money. Cambridge of made an offer to loan James Gibbons. I think he is one that I've been trying to move on. They don't even want to do a. Oh man. They don't even want to do. That's not even going to cover it. I'll be out of pocket, really. I'm going to have to say no. I'm offering him up. 
or zero. Ah, oh, here you go. They want to pay part of his wages. Let's have a little look, actually, at the reserves. See if anyone's got any value. Ben Lloyd, 5.6 million. Could improve a lot. I picked him up for 600,000. Right, you're going into first team, mate. Uh, that's my son, Samuel Van Ville. Hammer. <laughs> He's rubbish. So, yeah, we haven't got a lot here, have we? Let's see if I can get rid of some. Even if they go on a free. I should have taken part in the flipping transfer window. I didn't realise I had this many terrible players in my reserves. Will Griggs on fire? Well, he's noisy. Ah, uh, Patrick Homan. Wow. There's more than I thought. These are all just leeching away my wage bill. I think I probably will have to bring some of these back into the fold. Have I done that one? No, I did that one. Nathan Smith. Ledson. All right, let's see if we can shift anyone. Well, a loan offer. They're offering to loan him and they're offering nothing. No. You can go for free. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have another look. Why are they not biting on him? He's down free. Just leave, mate. Hoban is off. So that will lower. Sean Robertson. Oh, they're going to pay his wages. Yeah, you can leave them, mate. Scott Hall is a 16 year old. Look at this. Wage expenditure, me, 750k a week, 20th. 
f Trust it to be International Week. What did we get on our transfer window top spenders? Ha! Huh? Oh yeah, we're not going to be there for that. Sign this plate, whatever the price, 10, 8 to 10 million. I'll show you my finances. I've 39 million in the bank, but I've transfer budget of 550,000. Yeah. We might as well put the requests in. Cleary, da da da, where is he? No. Can't let him live. Okay, we've got Newcastle away. So the richest team in the Premier League versus the poorest team in the Premier League. Oh dear. Right. I'm going to need a miracle. I've just got to try and pick up some points. It's all about finishing 17th, really. Right, I'll be more on point tomorrow. I'll be all ready to go with the next match. But today's stream, we did this one done. I've taken longer than I thought because it was the end of the transfer window. A quick. Pick. Hang on. No. Oops. Right. Should I put Diallo in? Harness, he's not very good. I think I'm going to put Diallo over there. All right. Let's see what we can do. Every away game, I'll take a point. Oh, for God's sake. No one ever scores from corners anymore, but they managed to score against me. Right oh no! I was just my eyes lit up there, and I was thinking, definite goal. Flapping posted. All right, we've picked up a couple of yellows. I'm going to have to sub just on the basis of they're on yellows. And... Yeah, there's no two ways around it. 
Come on, only one behind. Nice. Go on, son. Oh, go on, son. Oh, he just seemed to run into treacle mode there. Sidney's flipping picked up a knock. That's not good. Uh, come on, Tyler Walker. Can he play? He could possibly play in the hole. Or where? Tyler Walker on. This will probably be a goal anyway. Oh, well done, sir. Don't flip him, pass it in front of their forwards. Come on. Come on, time to get lucky. No. Tarkowski they've got. They just like giving it the O-Lays. Ah, the final walks on the corner of the hand door. Great tackle. Oh, he's off. Oh, he's off. He's off. He's off. He's off. He's off. He's off. Uh, 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 oh, oh. I'm going to switch tactics. This, is, this might be a major error. Should I switch tactic? Yeah, I'm going to switch. Very attacking. No! Now Akinola's injured. Oh, mate. No, 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 let's go. We're going free at the back. Oh, you could not make it out. There you go. That was always going to come back and fight in the ass. Two nil loss. We are seventeenth, five point gap. Oh my god, Akinola's out for four weeks. Sydney's out three to five days. All right, guys, I'm going to just give you a bite-sized chunk every day so you can stick with me on this journey. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow with more Port Vale trying to save their skin. Cheers.